Pattern Identification in the Stock Market Using Machine Learning In this video, we will dive straight into how machine learning can be used for identifying patterns in the stock market. The stock market is highly dynamic, with prices influenced by countless factors. With advancements in technology, machine learning has become a powerful tool for this task, allowing us to identify patterns in historical data that can help predict trends. To build a stock market pattern recognition system, several machine learning algorithms and tools can be employed. Supervised learning algorithms, these algorithms, such as decision trees, random forests, and support vector machines, SVM, are trained using labeled historical data to make predictions about future stock movements. Unsupervised learning algorithms, clustering algorithms like k-means and hierarchical clustering help to find natural groupings in stock data, helping to identify common patterns or behaviors in the market. Recurrent Neural Networks RNN and Long Short-Term Memory LSTM, these deep learning models are particularly effective for time series data, like stock prices, because they can remember patterns over time, enabling better predictions of stock market trends. Reinforcement Learning this approach involves training models to make trading decisions by learning from the environment. Technical tools, libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, and Keras can be used to implement these machine learning algorithms effectively. These tools provide the necessary framework to train, test, and deploy models that can detect market patterns. This code snippet imports essential libraries for data analysis, statistical modeling, and financial data retrieval. The default dict from the collections module creates a dictionary that initializes keys with a default value, facilitating data aggregation without key existence checks. NumPy and pandas are crucial for numerical and data manipulation, with NumPy supporting arrays and mathematical operations, while pandas provides powerful data structures like data frames for structured data handling. Matplotlib.pyplot enables visualization by allowing the plotting of graphs and charts to represent trends and data distributions. Agril Extrema from Sipi.Signal identifies local maxima and minima in datasets, aiding in the analysis of time series data or trends. Kernel Reg from StatsModels.NonParametric.Kernel underscore aggression offers kernel regression for estimating relationships in data, which is valuable for data smoothing and prediction without specific functional form assumptions. Yahoo Financials provides access to financial data from Yahoo Finance, enabling the retrieval of stock prices, financial statements, and other market data. These libraries collectively establish a robust foundation for complex data analysis, particularly in finance, by facilitating numerical calculations, data manipulation, visualizations, and historical financial information retrieval. This code snippet initializes three variables. Start underscore date is set to January 1, 2017, which marks the beginning of a date range, and underscore date is set to December 31, 2017, indicating the end of that range, and stock underscore code is assigned the value FB, representing Facebook. These variables define parameters for a stock-related operation, likely to fetch historical stock prices for Facebook during 2017. This function preprocesses stock data for a specific stock code within a defined date range. It retrieves historical price data from Yahoo Finance using the Yahoo Financials library, requiring the start date, end date, and stock code as input parameters. After fetching the data, it extracts the relevant price information and creates a pandas data frame with the columns arranged in a specific order. The function then renames the data frame's columns to be more user-friendly. Finally, it returns the modified data frame and two separate series, one for closing prices and another for dates, enabling easy access to the complete data set and specific price information for analysis or visualization. This line of code calls the preprocess underscore data function with three arguments, start underscore date, end underscore date, and stock underscore code. The function returns three values that are assigned to the variables df, prices, and dates. The variable df contains processed financial data for the specified stock within the given date range. Prices holds the stock prices for that period, and date stores the corresponding dates. This structure is commonly used in data analysis or financial applications to prepare data for further analysis or visualization. This code adjusts the indices of two data structures, prices and dates, to start from one instead of the default zero. It utilizes NumPy's linspace function to generate a sequence of evenly spaced integers from one to the length of each dataset. 
This indexing method facilitates easier reference in future calculations or visualizations, particularly in nadaria watson kernel regression, where a clear and consistent index is crucial for analysis. This code retrieves and displays the first five rows of the data frame or series name dates. The head function is used in data analysis with libraries like pandas to quickly preview the top entries, providing an overview of the data structure and content without showing the entire dataset. This code retrieves the first few rows of a data frame or series named prices. By default, it returns the first five entries, offering a quick overview of the data structure, its columns, and the initial values. This allows users to inspect the contents of prices and understand its format without displaying the entire dataset. The function find underscore max underscore minute analyzes price data to identify local maxima and minima using kernel regression for noise reduction and trend clarity. It first fits a kernel regression model to the price data, creating a smooth series. Next, it uses Agril Extrema to determine the indices of local maxima and minima from this smooth series. For maxima, it verifies each maximum index to ensure it is not at the boundaries and captures the highest price index within a specified window around that point. It performs a similar process for minima, identifying the lowest price within the designated window. After obtaining the indices of maxima and minima, the function retrieves the associated price data and compiles the results into a single data frame while removing duplicates where points may be both maximums and minimums. The function returns the smoothed prices, their respective indices, and the consolidated maxima and minima prices. This line of code calls the function find underscore max underscore minute with the variable prices as input. The function returns multiple values, smooth underscore prices, smooth underscore prices underscore max underscore indices, smooth underscore prices underscore minute underscore indices, price underscore max underscore indices, price underscore minute underscore indices, and max underscore minute. These values represent processed results from the price data, including smoothed price values and their indices of maxima and minima. The variable smooth underscore prices contains the smoothed price values, while the others indicate the positions of maximum and minimum price points for both raw and smooth data. This structure facilitates further analysis or visualization of trends and significant points in the price data. This code performs two operations on a variable named max underscore minute. The first operation calculates and prints the number of elements in max underscore minute, indicating that it is likely a list, data frame, or another collection type. The second operation displays the first few rows of the max underscore minute data frame, which offers a quick overview of its content. Together, these operations provide information about the size and initial data of the max underscore minute collection. This code creates a large plot using matplotlib to visualize price data over time, emphasizing key features like maxima and minima. It generates a figure and axis with a specified size and resolution, plotting the main price data and a smoothed version of it as solid and dashed lines, respectively, against the same dates on the x-axis. The x-ticks are set to display every 30th date for enhanced readability. The code identifies the maximum and minimum values from both the smoothed and original prices based on given indices. It uses scatter plots to mark these extrema on the graph, highlighting maxima of the smoothed prices in red, minima in purple, maxima of the original prices in green, and minima in blue. A legend is added to distinguish between the plot elements and a grid is enabled for better visual reference. The plot underscore window function creates a visual representation of price data over time, displaying both raw and smooth prices. It accepts parameters for dates and prices, which should be in the form of series or data frame-like structures, while smooth underscore prices provides the smooth price data. The function plots the data within a specified date range from start to end. If no axis object is given, a new figure and axes are created. The raw and smoothed prices are plotted together, with the smoothed prices shown as a dashed line. Local maxima and minima for both price types are indicated with scatter plots in distinct colors, red for smoothed maxima, purple for smoothed minima, green for raw maxima, and blue for raw minima. The x-axis ticks are evenly spaced and rotated for easier reading, and a legend is included to label the different series and points. A grid is also added to facilitate data inspection. The code snippet calls a function named plot underscore window, which visualizes financial data over a specific date range. It takes several parameters including dates, which is a list or array of date values, and prices, which contains the raw price data for those dates. 
The smooth underscore prices parameter represents a smoothed version of the price data, helping to identify trends, while smooth underscore prices underscore max underscore indices and smooth underscore prices underscore minute underscore indices denote the indices of maximum and minimum values in the smoothed data for highlighting significant points. Similarly, price underscore max underscore indices and price underscore minute underscore indices refer to the original price data. The start and end parameters define the range of data to be plotted, indicating the beginning and ending indices of date price pairs. The optional axe parameter allows the user to specify a particular axis object for the plot, providing control over the display location, particularly when multiple plots are created on the same figure. Overall, the function generates a visual representation of price trends over the specified period, highlighting key maxima and minima in both the raw and smooth data. This function identifies trading patterns within a time series of financial data contained in the max underscore minute data frame. It employs a sliding window technique, analyzing the last five values of the series. If the time span of these values exceeds 36 days, it moves to the next window. For each valid window, it extracts five variables and calculates two averages for odd and even indexed elements. The function checks several conditions to identify common trading patterns such as head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, broadening top, broadening bottom, triangle top, triangle bottom, rectangle top, and rectangle bottom. Each pattern has specific value constraints. If a pattern is detected, it is stored in a dictionary along with the start and end index of the window. The function ultimately returns this dictionary, making it valuable for technical analysis by signaling potential trading opportunities based on observed price movements. This code snippet shows the use of the find underscore patterns function, which takes max underscore minute as an argument. The function processes the data in max underscore minute, likely representing statistical values or datasets, to identify specific patterns. The results are stored in the patterns variable, which will contain the identified patterns from the max underscore minute input for further analysis or display. This code defines a dictionary named shorthand underscore full name underscore dict that maps shorthand labels used in technical analysis to their full names. Each key is a string representing a specific pattern, such as HS for head and shoulders, while each value is the complete name of that pattern. This structure facilitates quick reference to these terms, simplifying further analysis or processing without the need to repeatedly type the full names. This function visualizes patterns found in price data over time. It accepts parameters such as dates, prices, smoothed prices, and indices related to peaks and troughs. The core element is a dictionary called patterns, which links pattern names to observed date pairs. For each pattern, the function outputs the pattern name and the number of observations. It calculates the required number of subplot rows based on the observations, creating a grid layout with two columns. The figure size and resolution are set for clarity. The function then iterates through the date pairs, invoking plot underscore window to generate the plots for each observation. It adjusts the start and end dates to provide a focused view around the observed patterns. After filling all subplots, it displays the visualizations, enabling users to analyze the detected patterns in the price data. The function called visualize underscore patterns is designed to create a visual representation of price patterns over time based on input data. The parameters include dates, which is a list of time points corresponding to the prices, ensuring chronological alignment. Prices contains raw price data, such as stock prices or any time series data, while smooth underscore prices represents a processed version using techniques like moving averages to reduce noise and highlight trends. The parameters smooth underscore prices underscore max underscore indices and smooth underscore prices underscore minute underscore indices indicate the locations of the highest and lowest points in the smoothed price data, essential for identifying peaks and troughs in the visualization. Similarly, price underscore max underscore indices and price underscore minute underscore indices correspond to the maximum and minimum points in the raw price data. Patterns refers to specific formations or trends identified in the price data, useful for analysis or pattern recognition. The shorthand underscore full name underscore dict serves as a mapping tool, providing context or expanded names for various patterns or indicators used within the visualization. This function aggregates various aspects of price data to create an informative visual that aids in the analysis and interpretation of market behaviors or trends. Please provide the code snippet you would like me to explain, and I will clarify its functionality for you.